Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen und Hallo zu einem weiteren Part Let's Play Fake Grand Order. Ich bin es, euer MC Marfix. Puh, was ist beim letzten Mal? ist kaputt gegangen. Zeus! Ein Teil meines Bildschirms, liebe Leute. Weil du magst so Frusti in der Gegend rumgehauen hat. Ladies and Gentlemen, beim letzten Mal haben wir es geschafft. Und gegen den ultimativen Gott Zeus hier gekämpft. In einem Battle of the Best haben wir den Grand Lancer Romulus beschworen. Und nun, liebe Leute, ist es an der Zeit, den Gott zur Fall zu bringen. Interessanterweise, als der Mesh hier der Black Bullet auf ihn gefeuert hat, haben wir gesehen, dass seine äh, Lebensspanne ziemlich gering nur noch ist. Im Gegensatz auch zu den anderen Göttern, was eh im Endeffekt schon irgendwie darauf hindeutet, dass am Ende seine Kraft ist. So, so, liebe Leute, in diesem Part wird es emotional. Haltet schon mal eure Taschentücher denn bereit, denn es ist nur Zeit, die Lehre zu erfahren. In Sektion 22, Void. Oh, liebe Leute, Mann, jetzt wird's dramatisch, liebe Leute. Noch dramatischer, oh, Mann. Geht das? Gute Frage. Lasst es uns herausfinden. Zeus. You and I did agree on one thing, to resurrect the age of the gods. But since your ultimate objective was to escape Earth, to leave this planet behind and return to space, we were never going to fully see eye to eye. It didn't have to be this way. I could have gotten behind your plan if you had made Olympus into a new kind of starship and brought its people along with you on your journey. But instead you planned to abandon even the very people you named you a god in the first place. What you envisioned was no new age of God. It was a dead end, just like what the gods of proper human history left behind. It's a shame, my friend. Not even Queen Europa, Rogue's bit of proper human history, was able to inspire a change of heart in you. Then again, perhaps this all stemmed from the ancient curse you've been carrying all this time. Even with all the functionality of every ship in your interstellar fleet at your command, you still couldn't disobey your primordial father's directive. It's a great pity, Zeus. Or chaos, I should say. The Great Demirage has gone silent. The Great Demirage Divine Curse falling apart. Kron is Kron damage. Shutting down. Infinity Crystal Connection deactivating. The Great Demirage is no longer able to maintain its Alephia. Damage to space-time, linking crystal sync to, to divine core. Warning, warning. Kiranda's final judgment functionality has been accessed from the source. A permanent space-time fault is about to occur. Please, be wary of space-time quakes. What is going on? We finally killed a piece of shit, right? There shouldn't be any more damn machine gods left. And I doubt the last bit itself is falling apart, seeing how the tree of emptiness is fine. So what gives? I'm not detecting magic energy, and atmospheric magic air at energy density levels are still at normal Olympus values. But then, what are we seeing? It almost looks like there are cracks forming a space itself. Looks to the heaven. There is something there within the fault that lies even beyond these space-time distortions. You mean there's something up near the tree of emptiness branches? Ein Bruch im Raum zeigt Continuum. The space we're standing under splits apart. The heavens above cr us cracking open. There, an impossible sight lays bare to see. Something on the other side of the gap that seems as though it were forcefully twisted open. It ca I can't believe it. That thing peering down on us from the gap in the sorted sky. Is an eye. A great eye in the sky, staring down at Earth. It's a giant eye. I don't know how I can tell. But I'm positive that it's looking at us. No, no it can't be. Urgh. What? What is it? 
What's got Arista shaking up? Well, here's something I never thought I'd hear myself say. Please, Mr. God of War, try to calm down. Wait, one second thought. Do you know what that thing up there is? You. You've been in that rift this whole time. They are the very first starship, the source of all Trev Olympians, a colossal interstellar mothership, and you're all this machine god of them all. Chaos. CHAOS! A solitary beam fires from the eye, traveling faster than light. Only Quirinius and the Crimson Machine God could react in time. They both moved immediately to defend against the impossible swift threat. Quirinius put up a boundary field to protect the Chaldeans. While the Crimson Machine God used his own body, a set of armor made from a holy adamant steel and reinforced with conceptual defense to block the attack. And then... Lord Quirinius. In einem Zwinkern wurde ein Gott ausgelöscht. Was ein Aris das der? Huh? Aris readings have completely disappeared. What just happened? He died saving our lives. His spirit origin has already been vaporized. He was killed by a ray of sunlight. Great authority that even exceeds that of Apollo in his prime. So this eye can be the authority of machine gods that no longer exist, but I thought that functionality has resisted solely to Zeus. No, wait. Ara said that thing was called chaos. Then, that would mean... The true nature of being peering down on us head from this crack in the sky is the source of every god in all of Greek mythology. Chaos! Isn't chaos just another word uh, for confusion? Not quite, master. Well, it uh, does use the term chaos in uh, scientific circles to describe unpredictable situations. This is strictly modern usage of the word. Greek mythology, Chaos is the largest, most ancient god of all. And the name means hole in the sky, a void. That thing is nothing less than a colossal interstellar mothership, the spherical space time fortress known as Chaos. They are the being from which all of the machine gods originated. The truth is that all 12 Olympians, including Zeus, were nothing more than a way of a chaos to divide their countless functions. They are the source of the Titans, Olympus and every machine god. They are the supernatural god that has become one with the gaps of our universe space-time. Their core is the very eye you see peeking out from uh, within the rift. The truly master shell that makes up a colossal body uses a star from an ancient distant system for its core. In terms of sheer scale, this god of the heavens far surpasses our entire planet. A colossal structure covering a star? You mean, like a decent sphere? A decent sphere, originally named for the physicist who conceived it, is a theoretical construct of an artificial structure designed to completely cover a star in order to make use of its energy. But you're now saying such a fear truly exists, and has for eons of that? That would make chaos here yeah, good that uh, God that embodies every concept of natural phenomenon under the sun now. Even that fails to do its justice. We are now up against a star capable of covering every centimeter in the sky. So why is this thing only showing up now? To protect Zeus? No, Zeus divine cause well and truly gone. Just as heroic spirit cannot maintain their existence without the spirit core. Neither can a god maintain the body without their divine core. That's right, but Zeus is no longer with us. I expect the chaos there has shown himself in order to carry out Lord Zeus. Who then is that? But this is all wrong. Lord Zeus wished to preserve the civilization, to keep it alive for as long as possible. However, chaos has no particular feelings toward Earth. Chaos' highest priority is preserving the fleet. So chaos means that's up, not just Olympus, but every resource on this planet's surface. 
and return to voyaging across the sea of stars. What? Oh, this is terrible. There's no longer anything there. There's nothing and no one left where chaos resides. All that remains there is a gap in the cosmos. Chaos is the primordial god. In Greek mythology, they are said to be the source of the god. No more than that, they are the source of all on earth. It never occurred to me that her true identify would be a titanic rent in the universe itself. A massive eye that pierced down to this planet from a gap in the very fabric of space. What's more, they now wish to revert this planet to its primordial state and return to the sea of stars. Die ultimative Gottheit, die den ultimativen Gott doch mal übertrifft, liebe Leute. Ich habe das Gefühl, es wird nicht unbedingt besser für unser Kaldea Team, oder? <lacht> nicht unbedingt. Ladies and Gentlemen, und was machen wir jetzt? Ich habe ehrlich gesagt, ich würde auch mal Lust auf so ein Grand Super Monster Battle. Und ich meine, es kommen immer noch welche. Hallo, Mutter? <lacht> Subjects and Civilization, irrelevant. Intelligent and Minds, irrelevant. Prosperity, Rune. Irrelevant. Primordial Chaos Reactivation confirmed. All components will be deemed unnecessary. Emergency Alert, Emergency Alert. Chaos has manifested. They will soon begin harvest the planet uh, so resources and will then revert the planet's surface to its primordial state. In accordance with Interstellar Migration Treaty, 37% of the unregistered planet volume will be consumed. All intelligent life forms on this planet are encouraged to evacuate immediately. Und wohin? Gibt's da auch Planeten? Setting aside the self-reserving nature of that announcement, as well as the timeline and details, it sounds as though chaos intends to scoop out 37% of Earth's surface. What's the point of unbleaching the Earth if it's gonna have a huge gaping hole in it? Indeed, suffice to say, if chaos is successful, Earth will no longer be suitable planet for human life. Well, hang on. It doesn't seem like it's going to attack us, right? Chaos preserves the universe on a vastly greater scale than Zeus. I suspect they are not even aware of us. The magic energy they fired at Aris was so akin to a reflex. They don't mean to attack us. Their only intention is to make off with this planet surface lost in the oil. And set sail to another voyage across the sea of stars. So they just wanna turn into a fuel or something shit from interstellar pressure cruise? Screw that noise. I don't know if the chaos bitch thinks they are, but I'm sure shit they're letting that happen. That's right. We still haven't cut down the tree of emptiness. We can't afford to stop now. The Black Barrel sustained damage. The Artinax total output has fallen below 50%. But the auto-maintain function is still working. I can doubly boost output to 60% of car for combat. My shield remains intact, and Aegis protection is still in effect. The only question is, how do we fight the thing? That's a good frage. Right. I'm afraid we can't. It must be at least 20,000 meters away from us. We simply have no way of reaching it. And even if we could, we would need to fight them inside the drift. And fighting in outer space is uncharted territory, even for a rogue spirit like us. Even if they were a space fabric hero expert, there, yeah. the battle would be over by the time they were to reach chaos. Hallo, Voyagers! Is that after it? Grifia, the king of demon gods, managed to store all the magic energy of human history in bands of light. But even if we had equivalent energy at our disposal, we would still be unable to destroy chaos. That can't be. Excuse me, Mr. Holm, I have a question. Go on. Remind me, are these machine gods different from conceptual ones? They aren't. It's difficult to convey accurately, but they are close indeed to gods born from defied natural phenomena. So while they are fundamentally dissimilar to natural gods, they still function as gods who preside over nature and various phenomena. 
I'm afraid I can't explain it better than that. Do you understand, now, Miss Miyamoto? I see, I see. So, the best act is still a natural phenomena, huh? Great, not a problem then. I might not have been uh, able to beat Zeus on my own, but I can totally take down this chaos thing. <laughs> the blue projects. Sauce. <laughs> uh, Musashi? Oh, Musashi, that's amazing. But, are you sure? Cut this shit. I don't want to put on a brave face, but this ain't the time for jokes. Thank you, Canis. That may be the first helpful assertion you've made since we first been. <laughs> we see this. Miss Miyamoto, I'm afraid, uh, regardless of how exemplary your sword skills may be, there's simply no way you can destroy that enormous mess from. Who said anything about destroying it? The overgrown temple up there usually sticks out of its own side of the universe and never interferes with few hours, right? The only reason it's able to stick us uh, per puppet into our business now is because they're tall up there. So in that case, all I've got to do is get rid of the tall. I might not be able to destroy the eye, but I can close the window it's looking through it, so to speak. True. But the problem is that hole is, a win is not a window. It's a hole in space itself. A total absence of form. It is a void, Miss Miyamoto. Now you've got it. I finally figured out why I've kept popping up around you guys all this time. <laughs> I know I said there was something out there I've still yet to slice, but I never thought I'd find it here. Wait, hang on. Nope, sorry, we don't have time to wait for permission from uh, some high and mighty official. Not my style. Every expert here gave everything they had to save proper human history. I might not be from there myself, but it's uh, not like I have anywhere else to go right now. And hey, remember what I told you before? About how I got to Olympus ahead of you guys? I've tried lots of times to get back to my own world, only to end up drifting into all sorts of others. When I get uh, to the boundary between worlds, there's a light field I always end up failing through. You can see hundreds of entrances to all sorts of worlds, they're beneath your feet, so I'd always pick uh, one and jump, in uh, thinking that would be the one that finally gets me home. But I always just end up in a different world each time. That's how I happened to run into you in Shimoza. Oh, then we did have to have a really close call back in the American desert, didn't we? Man, that place was so blessed. But anyway, the more I drifted, the fewer entrants were left uh, with each ship. Has this übrigens, uh, ganz kurz, das heißt übrigens Fake Grand Order, uh, Summer Fear Vegas is uh, Cardinal. That's no surprise, really. I knew that eventually there wouldn't be a world left that would accept me. There's no place for you in any world. I mean, I only figured it, right? The Japan uh, I came from was long since put away. Looking back at it now, it must have been a lost build itself. And so, I became a wanderer, drifting to space-time. I kept barging into uh, all sorts of words under the present of finding of my way home and kept getting kicked out. Sometimes, when I found myself in a really nice world, I even tried to settle down there. I didn't want to face reality. My options were dwindling rapidly, and I didn't want to deal with it. Then, when you said you stopped ending up in the other worlds... She meant that this uh, one would be a final stop. Coming here was her fate. When I first heard about her condition in Russia, and how this was the only world she had ever revisited via Shimosa, I knew then that would happen someday. Sadly, Miss Miyamoto's words hopes are not infinite, but... Never mind the crap now. Oh my, so angry. Thank you, Maxi. Thank you for getting so angry on my behalf. But this is my karma and my time to shine. Plus, you know how I am. Maxi. Now that you and I have formed such a close bond, I'm going to make sure I do a pr uh, pr you proud with this one last thing. Yeah, that's right. This is where my journey comes to an end. And I couldn't ask for many final opponents more worthy than a giant mechanical sky god. Besides, once I perfected my Zeus sword, I obviously knew someday wanted to take it even further. So I've made my decision. No more bouncing from world to world for me. Whatever happens here, happens. Woohoo! Hold up. You can't face the thing alone. Wait, just a damn minute, Musashi. Here. Sure, we are late. But we finally made it to the Great Chinese Airspace. 
Oh! Ha ha ha! Okay, so I'm not here, so He's not making my ass day today. Uh, day After a fierce and dying battle against the CS7 is trying to keep us away from the shrine, we are here to ready to back you up. The Storm Order! Die hat sie weit gemacht. Perfect. Das Wort des Sotfahrt erordert. Wait. Das Wort in Blue Brace is going on here! When I had kept it able to board a secret jet future uh, to bring us up to uh, past the clouds, Lafayette expected to find was a crack in the sky? What is that? Fang up in this run of fear! And is it just me? I should watch that if I get me be faced? I can't get a read on its magic energy. It's got to be a uh, divine spirit. Oh, machine god. You've got it, Davinci. That thing is the original chaos. It's the literal mother of all machine gods, including the twelve Olympians themselves. Oh, they say they are going to dissolve and absorb almost half of the planet's resources before just setting sail on a voyage across the sea of stars. Talk about a pain in the ass deity, huh? So, it's going to slap and in the whole planet. Can it just transform into anything into magic energy? <laughs> Web, how you turn stammered? Let's just go back to the ground and we'll pretend we never see our thing. <laughs> Sorry, can't let you do that. Yep. Musashi, get back here! How many fun up here can't be very sour mere? That's a fair never worked on me before. I don't even go back to a restaurant to pay back my checks. Just keep the ship headed for the first uh, director. I've got a special move that'll take care of that thing if of this in a flash. What are you saying? Sure, that can't be possible. Go on, Maxi, say something. Is there any way she could possibly pull this off? No chance in hell. Later. I knew it, Fortney. As you can see, I always make a point to keep a level head. And right now, my level head is telling me to stop me out seeing before we can actually destroy the world. Technical advisor, administrative advisor, which one do you uh, believe? Me, of course. Besides, in the first place, Warning, warn it. Initiating resource collection procedures. All intelligent life forms, please close your eyes and relax. Beginning for shutdown of all life form function. Reverting planet to the primordial set. Initiating countdown. Thank you, primordial mothership chaos, and have a wonderful journey. Starts so counting down the seconds until the entire planet is returned to its primordial state. That's the final warning. If you don't do something fast, chaos will activate the Chronos Cron. And assemble everything on Earth, physically and conceptually, into the computer spirituals. From there, it's only a matter of time until the planet eventually dies. See? We don't have time to think about this. Then we fight it all together. Senpai is right. Please come back, Musashi. With the border here now, we still have the other option available to. Suck it up, you two. You're being silly. You think I don't know all that? This is the best option. The only option. Believe me, I don't want to do this. But everyone, not dying here is a lot more important than to me. So please, you know I've been through a lot together. Just let me go. Let me do this. I am going to take this uh, one chance to go out doing something truly meaningful away from me. As my best master ever. Aren't you supposed to use a command for a magecraft or something to pick me up in a moment like this? Go get him, Nitin Ichiro. Alright now, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, run inside the border. Set a curse for that hole. Full speed. But hang on just a moment. Maxi, it's, it's going at me. And I think he's crying too. This is Captain Nemo speaking. I'm the captain of the storm border. Don't worry, Saber Miyamoto Musashi. I light the way up to the border's bow. And max out the inertia uh, control and repulsion conversion to keep you safe. The storm borders might not be as strong as my father's Poseidon. But with my now to lose the shadow border and the Feister's power all helping out, we can still give him a run for his money. So I promise we get you to our destination, no matter how rough our cause might be. Thanks. 
That'd be a big help. That's definitely a little far for a reach on my own. No matter how good with a sword I might be. It's been a long journey. I've slain people, monsters, and now gods. I finally encountered my destiny to keep Shir Shimosa Toke Castle, when my sword at last uh, reached zero. After all that, I could uh, wish for nothing more than to end this journey by setting out our last selfless act. Truth be told, most of my journey was so pathetic that I'm glad this one has to see it all. But, uh, like I think I told you before, the times when I got to fight alongside you were all an exception. A female version of me, uh, Sashia, like uh, me, never really fit in anywhere. But with you guys, I finally got to fight for a decent cause. That's why I think I could have been a hero. One uh, there who could or even measure up a proper human history, Musashi. Okay, thank for everything, Maxi. Do it, Captain! Roger that. Setting course to the future space time. Full speed ahead. I never forgive you for this! Musashi! Okay, liebe Leute, an sich müssen wir jetzt hier den Part beenden. Wir sind jetzt hier bei schön 26 Minuten. Aber fuck it, liebe Leute. Das müssen wir hier noch bis zum Ende miterleben. Da können wir mal gescheit überziehen, liebe Leute. Denn es ist Zeit, dass Musashi das erfüllt, für was sie geboren wurde. Die Lehre durchzuschreiten. Den absoluten Nullpunkt. Es ist Zeit, liebe Leute, dass Musashi zu der Legende wird. Und selbst die Legende aus unserer Welt betrifft. Current air speed is 27,000 km per hour, but I still can't get a read of our distance to the target. What? I can see chaos with a naked eye, but there's the natural ridge resting on our sensors. Unless something changes, I don't think the storm border will ever make it to chaos, not even if we had million years. Oh, what do you mean? I can see it right there. Can we just uh, keep heading straight for it? No, we can. The only thing that looks so. Uh, uh, to that way is us because we all we have our simply human senses to rely on and preserve it. But the distance to chaos, or rather the root of the void, is actually absurdly complicated. Exactly. It might look like we are going in straight line, but we are actually going every which uh, way but straight ahead. Wow! I just gotta look at our course on the map, and it looks like some sort of jigsaw puzzle, and three dimensional one and that. Isn't there anything you can do about this, Captain? I do have a uh, route planned out, thanks to the proper moon acting as our compass. You're following that uh, route right now, and it's simply slowing, but surely getting us closer to chaos. That being said, the paper moon's route to chaos will take us 62 hours times 672 attempts. Of course, the storm borders uh, will never last that long, to say it's uh, nothing of uh, Miyamoto Musashi up there in the bow. Then, what are you supposed to do? Let me just make sure of something, Da Vinci. Have you gotten a hang of piloting the storm border yet? Do you think you can operate the ship by yourself? Not easily, but yeah, I think I can manage. I'll never be able to leave this computer room again, though. Oh, and I think I also need uh, the marines. I can uh, manage the system from here, okay. But I still need uh, people to keep all the in uh, here facility clean. Got it. Then I leave more clones behind. I'm sure I can. I'll make sure I do. Besides, they are not much more than extras. There's no need for them to come along with me. Captain? If our route to chaos is too long to traverse in reality space, then we uh, take a shortcut through the void space. So I cut the distance down from infinite to infinite by making the series in of interminable series aims. What? You can't do that, Captain. Not even the Nautilus could handle the concept of zero sails. Besides, the border is made for punching through void space, not jumping through as like a flying fish. I can do it. I make it happen. I swear it on both my Triton and Nemo spur erosion. Wow, wow, come now, Captain. You know you shouldn't uh, be so quick to volunteer to risk your ill Wait, hang on. You you don't mean? Yes, I do, Gorilla. This chair is yours now. Do I have to say, you seem like you'd be a lot more at home in the cockpit than the captain's chair. Well, 
You can't be serious. You're good. No, 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 I. I. Okay, I'm off to the engine room. It's okay. Don't worry about it. To think of it as the stormboarder scaling a new Triton engine. That will not be necessary. Worry not, child of the sea. You may be short in stature, but you are great nonetheless. We shall make a path for you. Denn ihr seid nun auch Roma. What the? Eh? I can't believe it. We've got a road. It's giving us a straight shot uh, right to chaos, cutting through every layer of his cross dimension maze. We are Romulus Quirinius, allied to all determined to carve new paths this world. We are saving the power left in this body for what comes after, but no more. We have decided to use all our remaining divine aura and all our authority to see you in your destination. Captain, wait! We can go straight there now! It's only 2000 meters uh, to Chaos now. The border can get there in under 3 minutes. Yeah, no need for a report, Marine. I can see it uh, for myself. What a beautiful view. It's uh, like looking at the ocean of light. I couldn't have asked for a better starway to the sun. How can I ever repay you? We may be a god, but we do not seek compensation. Neither would we see you throw your life away. Now go for gallant crew of the storm border and reach the destination we all seek. That is why we are sent here. All roads lead to Rome. What? Watch this just now. An ancient crew room. Crank the engines up to 120% output. I don't care if we end up standing three minutes from now. We are going to get this job done. Come hello or high water. And noon is his side. Fee and outfit. Huh. Ah, this journey was so much fun. I'm so lucky I got another chance to keep traveling even after I met him, my aunt in Chimosa. I don't know who it was that gave me the chance. But whoever you are, thank you. Oh, but if it was humanity, then I take it back. I mean, it was humanity that made me an outcast. I'm a Musashi. Subjecting to pruning theoretical phenomena, so I never got summoned again once I disappear. I wish I could record these thoughts somewhere before I'm gone, but it's probably easier said than done. But it's okay, really, it's fine. After all, I made it this far, and I did it without changing who I am, that's all I need. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mixie. I might not have been able to pull it off myself, hell, I never really even thought about trying to. But you better make sure you take back your world, okay? Okay, now that I've see, said my goodbyes, it's time to become the ultimate sword. This artwork, this music. This battle is what my heavenly eye was made for. Here, me now, kaleidoscope of all things in this world that are born, grow, and multiply. I will serve every path, cut off every branch. And draw forth the null that lies at your essence. I will slice off every bit I possibly can, then continue to slice off what remains. Thus, I shall become ultimate. I shall become the heavens. But even that is not enough to fulfill my dream. So I will smash through the walls out of the heavens and clear at what lies beyond. Once I have severed the formless, the void, the face of pure nothing, then I shall become the Buddha's sword and slice through destiny itself. Namu, Tenman Daijin Tenjin. Now is the time for me to use everything I've got. Distance to target. We need to punch through several layers of space acting like a wounded field. Brace for impact! There's still three, four, five impacts left. Make sure you don't fall off. Current speed, 29,000 kilometers per hour. Temperature, out of outer hull, uh, 100 degrees Celsius at rising. Musashi, are you still there? Are you alive? 
Even at this speed, we still can't cl close it. It's a lot farther away than it looks. I take 20 now. 30 seconds until we reach the fissure in space. Can you hang in and until then, Musashi? And... Musashi! Of course I can, Captain. Don't worry about me. Just keep punching it. Keep the bow pointed up and all the engine at full throttle. We're going to do this thing in style. You've got it. Setting elevation angle to 10 degrees. Once we've got above the boundary field, it's all up to you. Chaos. So for the late introduction. Hopefully you won't mind if I let my thoughts do the talking. This is nothing. Yikes! That was close. Don't uh, tell me I'm gonna get shut down before we get close enough to make my move. I won't let it happen. The board is going to uh, back you up as best as it can, right to the very end. Don't worry. We handle the fences. Just save your strength for then it really counts. Spurgeon cannon continue firing. Well, nice. Thanks, Captain. I can tell from your voice that you must be a real cutie. Oh man, now I really wish I'd met you with you guys sooner. Me too, Miyamoto Masashi. But keep your focus on chaos. 6,000 meters to go until we reach the fissure. Estimate time until collision, 16 seconds. Got it. Thanks for the ride, Captain. You did an absolutely fantastic job. Not at all. It was an honor to help. Your bravery is an inspiration to us all. Alright. Man, that sure is a big eye I've got there. I wonder, can you really see me with it? Even if you can, you're probably thinking, she's only a human. What can she possibly do? You're not wrong. There's no way a normal attack could ever do a, f a thing to a fissure in space time or the universe. Any kind of physical attack would be pointless. As would any form of resistance. Basically, even the katana of the greatest soul fighter ever is even less significant than space does as far as you're concerned. Yeah, that's right. Everything I've ever done has amounted to no more than space does. I told myself I was walking the path of the sword even as I lost my way. I kept resisting, trying to accept what I couldn't come into terms with. I don't know if I left anything to value behind. I don't even know if I gained anything at all. But even so. The one thing I do know is that I've been lucky enough to meet some incredible people. So here I am. Now after a long and self-centered journey, my blade, my sword, is ready to reach you. Chaos. Your giant fissure in the universe might be divided from form. But slicing the void is my destiny! Hey Shimmer Mooney, you shitty old man! You know how you love saying you're the strongest in the world? If you're out there, I hope you're watching this. Because I'm about to go where you never could. This is for you, Ishan Ten! I shall break through the void. To reach the truth, I shall pass beyond the stage of zero. I shall break through the void to reach the truth. I shall pass beyond the state of zero. It was a single flash of a sword. A blade that should never have been able to hit its target. A zero slash that reaches mark with perfect accuracy. How can I prove the existence of something that reaches beyond void, beyond non-existence? How can I describe what she did to reach a being whose very essence lies in non-existence? To strike at the chaotic void that lay past a gap in the universe, beyond time and space itself. I can't. It's impossible to put into words. All I can do is tell you what happened afterward. Her blade did indeed rent the very sky, 
causing the god of war to disappear beyond space-time without so much as a grasp of surprise. It was, in the truest possible sense, a god-destroying strike. Hmm, I did it! I cut the last god! Not a bad job for Musashi, who shouldn't even exist, huh? That must be unperfect, if I do so I say myself. Hmm, I better run else saw that. I knew I could pull it off if I tried. Sprache, liebe Leute. What was that? What just happened? I don't know. Our senses are all going big sack. So I can't tell what's going on outside. What about Musashi? Is she still out on the boat? No, she's not. Chaos and Musashi are gone. This ship is part of me, so I can tell there's nothing outside anymore. No god, no rock spirit. Nothing. The fissure in space-time, the gap in the cosmos, is closed. Then, does that mean? Yeah, I'm not going to mince words. Chaos returned to their original null state. They are stay silent forever now. Miyamoto Musashi burnt out every once of her spirit ocean and completely disappeared. Ach, Leute, man. So. Ach, das ist viel zu hart, man. Leute, wie, wie es es ja einfach zeigt, liebe Leute. Wie es mir das einfach zeigt, Ladies and Gentlemen. Wie, wie es halt wirklich wunderschön darauf zoomt, um mir, ja, das, das Furchtbare zu zeigen. Und dort ist sie. Miyamoto Musashi. Die ihr komplette Geister vor mir, komplettes Wesen geopfert hat, um uns einen Weg zu schaffen. Weniger Trauer als wirklich Sprachlosigkeit. Die mit Abstand best inszenierteste Szene, die wir jemals im Fake Grand Order hatten. Aber das Schlimme ist, es wartet immer noch eine Sache auf uns. Der große Atar, der Tree of Emptiness und Kirishima Wutam. Ladies and Gentlemen, beim nächsten Mal geht unser Abenteuer dann weiter. Danke Musashi, danke für die Zeit, danke für dein Opfer. Und nun, liebe Leute, werden wir dieses definitiv nicht... Ach, Leute, man, das fällt mir gerade ein bisschen schwer. Ach, Leute, ich bin der 10 minuten zu den dran. Beim nächsten Mal werden wir auf jeden Fall weiterkämpfen, auch für dich. Ladies and Gentlemen, bis zum nächsten Mal, auf Wiedersehen, haut rein, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen, ciao.